Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Kim and I'm a children's librarian at the Monroe County Public Library. And today I am happy to present story time. Today's story time, I have for you an action rhyme. I'm gonna read you a story and we're gonna do a counting rhyme. This is a lot of fun. But before we get started, we're gonna do our hello song. And if you've watched some of our virtual story times before, you already know this song, but if not, that's okay. I can teach it to you. Um, this song uses some American Sign Language. Uh, it uses the sign for the word hello. And to make that sign, we're just gonna take our hand like a salute, put it up against our eyebrow, and move it right out like this. Whew. Hello, hello. That's the sign for hello. The second sign we need for this song is the sign for friend. And to make the sign for friend, we take our two little fingers and we are gonna act like they are friends. Hello there, oh hello to your girl. And these friends are so lovely and they haven't seen each other for so long that they are going to give each other a hug. And they are very good friends. They're going to go the other way and give themselves another hug. So there are two friends. They give each other a hug and another hug. And that's the sign for friend. So we have hello and we have friend. And here's how the song goes. Let's give it a try. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Time to say hello. Awesome, yeah, that's our hello song. So hello to you, and I'm so happy that you're joining me today. So today, our story time, like I said, we have an action rhyme, we have a counting rhyme, and I'm gonna read a book, and all of these different items revolve around one theme. So I've kind of grouped everything to a theme, and to, and to present that theme, I have today a riddle. So I'm gonna give you some clues, and I want you to guess what it is I'm thinking about. All right, so here's the riddle. I can be very strong, but other times I'm just a breeze. Although you can't see me, you can see me blow about the trees. So let's listen to that again. I can be very strong, but other times I'm just a breeze. Although you can't see me, you can see me blow about the trees. Hmm. Any guesses what it is and what, what my theme is here? Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, in the back there. What, what do you think it is? You're very right. You're right. Exactly. It's the wind. Today, all of our stories around have to do with the wind. So let's think about that with that riddle, okay? It says, I can be very strong. Yeah. Sometimes the wind can be very strong, right? It can even bend over the trees, it's so strong. And other times, I'm just a breeze. That's very true, right? In fact, another word for a very gentle wind is a breeze. And another meaning for that word is for something to be easy to do, right? If something is a breeze, it's easy. And a breeze is also a very gentle wind. And although you can't see me, you're right, you can't see the wind, right? You can see me blow about the trees, right? Of course, we can see the wind blowing those big tree branches over or blowing over grass, uh, big blades of grass or flowers. Sometimes it even catches our hair and our clothes as it gets so strong. So yeah, wind. All of our rhymes and uh, songs today, stories today are about the wind. And the first one we're gonna do is a counting rhyme. And it's a counting rhyme called Five Little Kites. Windy days are a perfect day to fly a kite. And if you haven't tried that before, I really strongly recommend it. It's very fun to do. Um, so we have our, our counting rhyme, five little kites. One little kite up in the blue. Along came another, and then there were two. One, two. Two little kites over a tree. Along came another, and then there were three. Very good. One, two, three. Three little kites. Look at them soar. Along came another, and then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little kites. They look so alive. Along came another, and then there were five. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, that's five little kites. Very, very fun. 
All right. So that was our counting rhyme, five little kites. And next we're gonna read our story. And today our story is The Wind Blew by Pat Hutchins. And so that we can see this better, I'm gonna stand up and move right up to the camera here. So we have The Wind Blew by Pat Hutchins. Um, and I want us to look at this cover for a little bit and see if we can make some kind of guesses about what this book is about. Right on this cover, we can see these people, they've got their hands raised. And they're kind of reaching for these different items, right? They're reaching for this kite and this nightshirt balloon and hat and umbrella and so on. And they're and they're reaching up for them. Um, and they're just out of reach, right? What do we think is going on here? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's that the wind has is so strong this day, it's lifted these items up and these people are chasing after them. Maybe so, maybe so. We'll see if that's that if that's what this is about. And I want to stop here too on this cover page for The Wind Blue by Pat Hutchins because on this page we see these really beautiful trees and this page is a really great illustration of the effects of this wind, right? We have that tree bending over and all those little branches flying out. So as we read this book, we're going to think about what's going to happen next, but we're also going to look for these effects of the wind. All right. We have this, The Wind Blue. You can see the raindrops going almost sideways as coats flying out. This looks like a very strong wind. It took the umbrella from Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. Oh goodness, have you ever had your umbrella turn inside out? It's kind of scary when that happens. So it ripped the umbrella from Mr. White. We can see the little girl's got her balloon and the wind is blowing. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. Oh goodness, Priscilla's balloon went right up there with the umbrella. And look, what's going on over here? It looks like maybe this is a wedding, right? This is a woman in a white dress and there's a man who's all dressed up too. Maybe they're, maybe they're having a wedding. And not content, it took a hat and still not satisfied with that. So we can see here, it's whipped up the hat. Oh my goodness, it's taken that groom's hat right off his head. And still not content with that. Oh no, it's not, it's not happy with that. What do you think it's gonna do next? Maybe it will take the kite from this little boy, maybe. It whipped the kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. Oh no, the kite got whipped right out of his, right out of his hands. <gasps> it grabbed a shirt out left to dry and tossed it upward to the sky. Oh goodness, it took that woman's nightshirt that she'd left out. <gasps> and what's going on over here? Oh no, there's someone blowing her nose with a handkerchief. Oh gosh, what do you think is gonna happen? Oh no. It plucked a hanky from a nose. It took her handkerchief and up and up and up it rose. Oh my goodness. What's gonna happen next? There's a, oh, there's a judge. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen to this poor judge? It lifted the wig from the judge's head and didn't drop it back instead. Oh goodness gracious. It took that wig right off that judge's head. Everybody's chasing their items. And what's going on down here in the other corner? <gasps> it's a mailman with all his letters. Oh gosh, what's gonna happen next? What do you think will happen? <sighs> it whipped the postman's letters up as if it hadn't done enough. Oh gosh, all those letters are flying away. It blew so hard, it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. Oh no, it's taking the flag right off the pole. <gasps> What's here? Oh, these sweet little twins with their little scarves wrapped around their heads watching. Oh gosh, what's gonna happen next? No, oh, no. <gasps> it pulled the new scarves from the twins. Oh no. And tossed them to the other things. Gosh, it's got all these different items from all the people. And, oh goodness, here's a, here's a man with a bunch of 
newspapers all gathered up. Oh no. It sent the newspapers fluttering round. Oh gosh, the newspapers are flying everywhere. Then tired of the things it found. It's getting tired of all these things? Oh gosh, what do you think is gonna happen then? If it's, if it's getting tired, the wind is tired of lifting all these things around. What do you think the wind's gonna do? Maybe, maybe, maybe drop them back again. Yeah, maybe. It mixed them up. Oh, what a jumble, right? And threw them down. Plop. Wow, what a mess. Look at this. This man's umbrella is all the way over here. And let's see, there's the twins and their scarves are way up here. And where's this poor woman's handkerchief? I don't see the handkerchief. Oh, there it is it's on this man's head. The handkerchief's on their head. And there's this little one with the, the top hat on her head. Oh my goodness, what a mess. That'll take some time to get sorted, right? And blew away to sea. The wind blew this ship all the way out, which is very nice, the wind to feel those sails. And all the people here, they see they've sorted out their items um, and they're waving goodbye to that ship. And that is the wind blew by Pat Hutchins. So as I read this story today, I and even before I read this story, I started looking at the different images and thinking about that text and asking these different questions um, to make predictions, right? Predictions are guesses about what's going to happen next. Just kept thinking, what's going to happen next? What is that wind going to do? What do we think will happen based on this picture? Um, asking these kind of questions uh, is a really, really good habit to get into. Uh, when we make predictions, right, we're actively engaging with the text. And this is something that we can, we can continue to practice and develop, which will help comprehension. So you do this with your little ones, um, even at this very early age. Um, it's something that is a skill that they can carry with them um, as they become a more um, an independent reader and will help them as they grow. Um, we all make predictions, right, when we read. And this is a skill that we can practice and learn. Um, so I encourage you, when you read the next book with your child, to, to think about that, to ask some kind of questions, think, get them thinking about what's going to happen next, what they think will happen next based on what's there. All right, so that's the wind blue. All right, and the last thing I have for you today is an action rhyme. Um, and this is, and this rhyme has a lot of different actions. I'm going to show you what to do if you are um, a preschooler or an older child. You can do these kind of actions on your own. And then I'll show you some a way you can do this if you have a smaller child, a lap child. All right, so if you um, are able to do these actions on your own, here's what you can do. We're gonna say, the wind uh, came out to play one day. It swept the clouds out of the way. So it's gonna make this huge sweeping motion. That's our wind blowing through the sky. It blew the leaves away they flew. So we're gonna make our fingers like shaking little leaves and they're gonna fall right to the ground. So it blew the leaves away they flew. All right, and for the next line, we're gonna pretend that we're a big, strong tree. We're really tall like this. The tree, and we're gonna say, the trees bent low, the branches did too. So we're gonna bend right over just like that. All right, and then we're gonna say, the wind blew the great ships out to sea. So again, we're gonna make that big sweeping motion. Whoosh! The wind blew the kite away from me. Again, with that big sweeping motion. All right, so let's put it all together. The wind came out to play one day. It blew the clouds out of its way. It blew the leaves away they flew. The trees went bent low, the branches did too. The wind blew the great ships out to sea. The wind blew the kite away from me. All right, and that's how you could do that, that rhyme. Um, if, you're, if you're a preschooler or a bigger kid, you could do that on your own. Smaller children who are, who are still kind of sitting on their lap um, could also engage with this rhyme. This is something you could do with them. And I want to show you how to do this same rhyme um, with your very little one, your lap baby, um, if you'd like. And I want to use my Lambie here to help demonstrate that. Um, so Lambie is, um, I'm going to, Pace her this way sometimes so you can just see what I'm doing. But when you're doing this with your little one, you put them on your lap so that their back is facing your chest. All right, so Lambie is going to sit like this just so you can see. If I were doing this rhyme with, with my little one, I would say, 
the wind came out to play one day and swept the clouds out of its way. So just doing a nice sweeping motion on their breath. They blew the leaves and away they flew. So doing that little, that same fluttery motion on their backs is kind of a nice little tickle. Well, it blew the leaves away they flew. And then the trees bent low, the branches did too. I would do this little rock, just a little rock to the side. The trees bent low, the branches did too. The wind blew the great, uh, sorry, blew the ships out to the sea. So we make that whoosh, sweeping again. The wind blew the kite whoosh, away from me. So that's how you could do this one with a little one, a little lap maybe. And if you like, instead of doing that sweeping motion, you could change that out with a little blow on the neck like this. We're just gonna give your little one a nice little tickle if they like that. If they don't like it, of course, just, just keep with that sweeping motion. You can kind of switch whatever works best for you there. All right, so that was our story time for today. We had our counting rhyme, we have the wind blew by Pat Chuttons, and we had our nice action rhyme. And now it is time to say goodbye. And I'm gonna put Lammy down here for now so that we can do our goodbye song. And our goodbye song also uses some signs. It uses the sign for goodbye, which is just doing this. And again, it will use the sign for friends. So again, we'll have our two friends and they're gonna say, and they're gonna hug each other, right? That's the sign for friends. For our goodbye and friends. And the song goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right. Thank you guys so much again for joining me. I had a lot of fun and I hope that you did too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.